What's up, y'all? I just wanted to take some time to say thank you to everybody to allow me to get to the point where I am now at 13,000 subscribers. I started off YouTube with zero subscribers and then went almost six months and got up to 60. It reminds me of the very first job I've ever worked, or maybe not the first, but like one of the first jobs. Young, hot-headed kid with a lot of dreams. I remember talking to the hiring manager that gave me the job, telling him how, you know, I just really wanted to work here so I could get my personal training certification and pay for it. Talked about all my entrepreneurial goals and so on. You know what he said to me? I never forget. And this is kind of something that has just been paramount in just the way I approach everything. I hate a challenge, but I also love a challenge as well. I love when people count me down and out. He said to me, that's not feasible for you. If you want to be an entrepreneur, you have to have all this capital going into it. You have to have these connections to be successful. Otherwise, you're going to struggle and it's not going to go anywhere. And guess what? And I never say any names. I went to uh, Burger King the other day. Sue me. I went to Burger King to get some fucking uh, some chicken nuggets and they taste like deer ankles, but they're a dollar. And I was, was hungry. It was right after a workout. I see that same hiring manager. He's working at a fucking Burger King. Let me tell you something, y'all. He told me essentially that my dreams were nothing. And he ended up quitting that job maybe two days after. Just walked out like a fucking loser. I see him. He's doing the same shit that he was doing. And here I am. It was the same thing with YouTube. There are so many people that I knew personally that counted me down and out. Same people that asked with their hand out when they saw that I was started to do better for myself. And here's the thing, y'all. Before this YouTube shit, I stayed very much to myself. I was already living in a luxury apartment. I had lots of nice things. Really, my goal with YouTube was to just touch as many people as possible, help as many people as possible, and put people on a better path and give them better tools to succeed. I wish I had a me 10 years ago. I would have done so many things differently, not only with training, but it's where we hit on with the bro talks and shit, man. Like, I wished I would have had someone more experienced to give me food for thought And how to navigate this fucking crazy ass world we live in. This crazy game we call life, man. So, I appreciate it. And even down to all the people that subscribe to me on Patreon, man. Like, that shit really blows my mind. I have 162 patrons. There are some channels that have 100 times more subscribers that don't have that many patrons. The shit's just all very humbling. Very, very mind-fucky. And a great honor. So I do appreciate everybody that subscribed to this channel. Everybody that will continue to subscribe to this channel. All of my patrons, y'all are real ones. I appreciate you. I remember I got expelled from school. Maybe we'll go into the story of that in another training vlog. And I was watching a Brandon Carter video. You know, big Brandon Carter. OG at YouTube. He's King Keto now. He kind of went down like the uh, the pyramid scheme route, but he was a real one. He still is a real one. I remember watching one of his videos and thinking, damn, I can do this shit too. There's no reason why I can't get behind a camera, tell my story, display my knowledge and help people just like this dude is. Look where we are now. We're at 13,000 subs. We're going to be at 100,000 subs by the end of the year. We're going to be at 200,000 subs at the end of the next year and so on. I'm so inspired and so humbled and honored to help the way that I'm able to. Believe what you see and fuck what you heard, man. If you see a clear vision of your success, you see the trajectory that you can launch yourself towards. You see this step and that step and that step, and you see where that later contributes to something great. Fuck what everybody's saying to you, man. I've had people my whole life tell me I can't do half the shit that I've done. I have people that have asked me for fucking money tell me, 
you're never going to be able to make good money. I've had people tell me, you're not going to be able to do this. And I did it. Did it twice over. So, and that's not no fake positivity shit either, man. Like, shit's going to suck sometimes. It, it is. And shit might not necessarily get better just because you're taking those steps. Just because you're walking towards that goal that you're striving towards. But the struggle guarantees that you grow from it. And where there's growth, there's gains. And where there's gains, there is success. Embrace the suck. Embrace the fucking Monica Lewinsky's. Embrace the fucking Sammy Sausages that tell you that you can't be shit in your life. Take it as a challenge. I love challenges. I hate them. I hate getting them. I hate people thinking that they can challenge me because nothing can challenge me. But I love them just because it gives me an excuse to strive, to struggle, and to succeed. This training session was a lot of fun though, man. My lower body sessions in particular are always a lot more fun than my upper body sessions, just for the most part, because you get to hit on a lot of different movement patterns with lower body movements, as opposed to just my workouts just essentially turn into different bench variations and pulling variations and like an accessory and some abs. Hip hinges are a lot more fun than bench in my opinion. So are squats, so are all the myriad accessories that you can do. I did a lot of conditioning in both workouts, so that's something that we're going to be covering soon, how to add that easily to your workouts. The conditioning part of strength and conditioning is not no giga brain shit, man. It's very simple. It doesn't have to be very fatiguing. It just has to be enough to raise your work capacity. We'll save that for next time, though. Y'all be easy. Peace.